don't look at me like that. I can't change the lighting because Stitch is in the window. Look. You're in the window, huh? Crazy cat. Yeah, you are. He doesn't care. Hello, internet peeps. Sorry for the weird lighting. <laughs> I didn't ask your opinion. Today, I wanted to share some very exciting news. I'm so happy. Look what I finally got. I finally have a passport. Yay! The world is my oyster. Now I just need to get money so I can get tickets to go places. That's another story. But yes, I finally have a passport. I am so happy. And everyone always asks me, they're like, oh, you're getting a passport. Where are you going? Nowhere anytime soon. But of course, that doesn't mean I don't have places that I want to go to. It's just that I don't have the money to go. And if someone invited me somewhere before I got my passport, I wouldn't have been able to go because I didn't have a passport. At least if a friend of mine asks me, hey, we're going to blah, blah, blah for a couple days. Would you like to go with us? <gasps> yes, I'd love to. And I can now because I have a passport. <laughs> Now most people have a bucket list of things that they would like to do before they die, but I have something that I call my destination bucket list. Basically, places that I would like to go to and visit before I die. And really, in no particular order, but these are just some places that ever since I was a little kid, I've been interested in going to. The first place that I would really like to go to is Japan. I love Japan. Not only because I am an anime, manga, otaku, but I also really like the culture of Japan. I like the history. I like learning about the do's and don'ts and the ins and outs and all that sort of thing. And I say Japan as a whole because at first when I was really, really young, I only wanted to go to Tokyo. But as I've gotten older, I've learned about other cities. So I'd like to go to Kyoto and Osaka. I'd like to go to Okinawa and I'd really like to go to Hiroshima. So Japan as a whole, I would absolutely die if I could go there before I die. Wait. Another place that I would really like to go to is the United Kingdom. Nowhere in particular, just England, Scotland, and Ireland. My heritage is primarily Scot-Irish, and so I really want to go to some of the cities and villages that a lot of my, like my great great grandparents grew up in and where some of my ancestors are from. And who knows, I might actually run into some family members while I'm there. I know that my great grandfather on my father's side, which is the Irish side, he does still have some cousin, well, sadly he's passed away, but he has cousins and relatives that do still live in Ireland that my Nana actually met the last time that she went to Ireland, but this was back in like the, the late 80s. It was before I was even born. But it would be really cool if some of them are still hanging around. And same with Scotland. If I can find some third cousins three times removed up in Scotland. <laughs> hey, the magic of the internet, you never know. The other reason that I want to go to England is because I have a friend that I met online through a pen pals website and we've known each other now for about three years. We've Skyped a couple times, but we've never met face to face. She's originally from Italy, but a few years ago she moved to London for work and we really want to meet each other, whether I see her or she see me. But at the time, neither one of us had a passport. And now that I have a passport, at least I can get us a little bit closer to meeting face to face. It would just be really cool to meet her. This does not require a passport since I live in the United States, but I really want to go to Disney World. I have never been to Disney World or Disneyland. Ah. Uh. I've given my dad some hard times because he was the one that promised that he was going to take me and my sister when we were kids. I remember it well. I was three years old. He said that when I was six and my older sister was nine, he was going to take us to Disney World in Orlando, Florida. 
20 years later, Dad. Kinda need to pick up the pace. <laughs> I give him a hard time. I really do. I pick on him for it, but I know it costs, that's the thing, it just costs a lot of money. So I know not to rush into it, but to go to Disney World would be fantastic. Those are just some of the places that I really want to visit. I mean, I have pretty much, I would like to backpack through Europe if I could. I want to go to Italy and Germany and Greece and Sweden and Paris, France. There's so many places I'd love to see in Europe. And I actually wouldn't mind going to South Korea. And I really wouldn't mind going to Australia as well, as long as I go during their winter. I heard their summer is kind of harsh. So at least I have step one completed. Now all I need to do is just find ways to save money. I'm curious to know, what are some places that you guys really want to visit? What is on your destination bucket list? Let me know down in the comments. It'd be really cool to see what places that other people would like to go to. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to upload more frequently. I think I'm off to a great start. I'm doing a Tyler Oakley. I'm not taking it. I'm not copywriting. Anyway, that's all for now, internet peeps, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! I'm sitting on my legs. <laughs> it hurts. I can't do it. I need a pillow. <clears throat> You're very rude, you know.